What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode. I am here in my office here. Have my green screen, got my desk right here, my laptop open, got my light on and everything. Just finished doing a YouTube video and also updating my cash flow course that a lot of you guys have joined and I wanted to just do a quick update um, with the current events that are going on and uh, with coronavirus and all that craziness that's been happening um, with the economy and the slowdown and a lot of you guys have been DMing me and messaging me about it and I want to just touch on a couple points and uh, the first one being that uh, zoom out so look out at the broad picture here uh, this is going to be like a recession it's scary we know that as long as we can own um, our own actions and take advantage of an opportunity or an opportunity or two during this time like learning a new skill um, learning where to invest learning all of these different aspects uh, that is important so first and foremost zoom out when you're looking at everything your finances everything and with that said uh, before i dive into the rest the link will be in the description below to the course that you guys have joined of how to buy and sell websites and that's what i'm about to be talking about in the rest of this video and thank you so much for all the support also if you enter in the coupon code uh, discount one uh, we will give you 25 percent off and i'm going to tell you why uh, in the, the remainder of this video why i'm doing that and why i want to help out with everybody out there so the title of this video is that you can buy your next job now that sounds bizarre and it sounds unrealistic and shady and everything like that but this is this is how it happens and thousands of people have done it all over the world so when when we talk about buying and selling websites we're talking about online businesses whether they're mobile applications like games or productivity apps uh, or things that you just download on your phone that help you get around like flashlights or whatnot uh, when we talk about Amazon stores, we're talking about Amazon FBA stores fulfilled by Amazon stores that are storefronts on Amazon. When we talk about e-commerce stores, we're talking about businesses that are selling physical products. When we talk about uh, subscription as a service businesses, those are ones that are selling like a digital good uh, that people are using or a service that people are using and paying a subscription for. And those are the hot to trot companies right now. A lot of people are really after those. Very, very, very profitable and fun to work on. And then you have your content businesses, uh, starter sites and all that. So a lot of things that are covered in the course that I've talked about many, many times before. And what I wanted to really focus on today was the category of established businesses, which counts as buying a business that is making enough profit that could be your job. And that isn't intuitive to a lot of people, but the reality is, is if your cash is sitting in a bank right now, it is going to be uh, negatively affected by what's going on. That's just raw economics. When there is more money in uh, that's going to be printed in the next couple of months here than in history, um, we are going to see a, a shift happen in the mindset of people where if I'm holding one dollar and then all of a sudden millions get printed off then that dollar is worth less so we are going to see potentially inflation and um, in order to be prepared for that that money sitting in a bank account isn't working for you and that money needs to be put to work you need to invest it you need to invest a portion of it you need to keep in mind of your costs like food and necessities for your family but you do need to put that money to work i can't emphasize that enough that money sitting there needs to be put into assets, digital assets specifically in my mind, because they are low overhead and um, they are very profitable. So there's other assets out there. You know, there's commodities, there's, um, you know, stocks that are pretty risky at the moment. Very, very volatile. Uh, you have your cryptocurrency type stuff. It's also very volatile. You have your real estate that's not so volatile, but it can be labor intensive to start with pretty heavy uh, capital amounts up front. But I love love real estate, love crypto. Um, not that big of a fan of stocks. 
I love alternative assets like online businesses and that's why I have, have been obsessed with this for the past few years. Now, when we uh, dive into this next part, when I talk about, I talked about zooming out and I talked about the different types of businesses and how people are buying their jobs. Uh, when I talk about these different aspects, what I want you to think about is um, what you do now and your income streams. And then if you're currently running a business, a lot of you guys are, that's fantastic. Uh, if you're running an online business, that's even better because you understand the pain points that I'm addressing. You run a brick and mortar store or brick and mortar business. That's fantastic, but you, you are going to have some pain points in the near future if there is a massive recession, uh, like a lot of people are speculating. So how does this work? <coughs> the way that this works is finding an established business that has a profit margin of, let's say, if it's making $100,000 a year. If it's making $100,000 a year, what do you need? What is enough for you and your family to be supported? Let's say you need $50,000 for you as an individual. <coughs> and that $50,000 means that you have to have a business that then has a 50% profit margin. So 50% 50 or 50,000 of that 100,000 in revenue will go towards everything, generating, Generating that um, that hundred thousand would go, you know, to contractors. It would go to uh, development. It would go towards R and D. It would go towards all different aspects of business to reach that hundred thousand threshold. And at a fifty percent profit margin, you would have enough comfort knowing that you could take money out of that business to survive. Meaning that is your salary, and that's pretty much. <laughs> the raw raw way of looking at this and I have allergies that's why I've been coughing I don't have COVID <laughs> uh, and we are self-isolating in our house here and this part is really really important and that's why of course I'm having like a cough attack leading up to the most important part here we talked about zooming out we talked about the types of businesses and we talked about buying a business that has a profit margin that you can have comfort in knowing that you can pull your salary from that and replace that business that you're currently running, that job that you're currently at. You could literally buy a business to replace that. Now, when we talk about this final piece here, it's important to know that there is a process involved in buying a business and financing a business. Now, there are investors out there that you could reach out to to say, hey, let's do um, a profit share, like 30% of monthly net profit you get until the principal amounts paid off that I purchased this business with. And um, that is a, 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 the best scenario when you go through private um, investment. And not many people have access to that. Not many people know wealthy people and can pool money in and, and get it get acquire a new asset and and manage it and run it and things like that that's the best case scenario for you and that's similar in real estate and a lot of other uh, deals is is the ability to pull in private money uh, is, is a game changer for a lot of people now the lower uh, lower hanging fruit is SBA loans now flippa they most recently partnered with Guardian uh, financial, which allows people to apply for these SBA loans to purchase and acquire businesses. So let's say um, you want to acquire that $100,000 a year business. You would probably need to acquire that for, let's say, two times earnings. Um, so $200,000 for that business. That's super broad, <laughs> but depending on the business, depending on the track record, how established it is, the brand, everything, um, the reach, customer base, everything, you would want to be going uh, for you know something like a 2x, 1.5x, those annual earnings. 
and uh, pay up front, and you would need that capital. So you would need to apply for an SBA loan. They would look at the actual business itself, see the cash flow, and determine um, you know what type of structure could happen. So this drastically lowers the barrier to entry here. Um, this is very low risk for the lender uh, for an SBA loan, and this is very low risk relative to you as a business owner uh, when you're trying to buy that salary, essentially, by buying that business and running that business on your own. Now, this is a, a low barrier, and sometimes in the past, this barrier has been considered something that was good uh, by certain people, uh, people that run businesses. Uh, I disagree. I think that people can learn as they go. People can build out a team, manage their profit margin, manage their expenses, manage their own P&L. All that information is publicly available. They can find all of that. And I think that that is a, it's not doing people justice enough. It's not, it's not saying that people can learn and they can. So that's the, the gist of it. Um, I went through zooming out of the current situation, looking at this, the glass half full, that there's going to be opportunities to purchase businesses for relatively in, uh, cheap because people want cash. And as I said, cash is not what you want to have sitting in your bank account right now. You want it put in assets. You want to put that money to work. So after we talked about zooming out, we talked about the different types of businesses, Amazon FBA, content businesses, mobile applications, um, your e-commerce businesses, your SaaS businesses, your starter businesses, and these established businesses. So that leads into what we talked about with purchasing this business with a profit margin so that you have enough to take out of that business, reinvest everything that you possibly can and stay frugal. But this gives you full control, uh, full control of your destiny and your future um, and your family's future by literally buying this business that will be generating your salary. And the last piece that I covered is one where if you can get private money, you can go to a friend and say, hey, there's this business that's making $100,000 a year. I can buy it for a hundred and, let's say, uh, 150,000. Um, you know, is it is it possible that I could get $150,000 from you? I'll pay you back over the course of two years, something like that, whatever you guys work out and uh, or 30 percent of annual revenue or 30 percent of monthly revenue i mean net profit that is a, a structure that a lot of people work out with private money and that's a, a dream scenario where if it's a friend um or someone that you find that has enough money to put to work like that because that's them putting their money to work by having you pay them back and the last part was the sba loan where if you're brand new to business and you want advice, you want um, you know, to figure out how to reduce your costs, all of that information is publicly available. You can learn it. It is easy. As I've said before, or it's not easy, sorry. As I said before, the link to my course where I teach this stuff is in the description below, so you guys can check it out. Um, definitely let me know your thoughts in the description below. I do various experiments with a lot of different types of digital assets that I've acquired not only through Flippa, but through directly from sellers. So uh, both the buyer and seller perspective, I try to get a good grasp on and use the coupon code discount one uh, because I want to help people out there that are struggling. There are a lot of people, I am on you know, Facebook and I try not to get on there that much, but I'm on there and I see a lot of people freaked out, a lot of people are scared, a lot of people are um, you know, in, in difficult situations right now. They were in the service industry, um, you know, working in retail and things like that that are getting pretty much demolished right now with the slowdown. And that's worldwide. So uh, specifically here in the United States, it's really starting to, to show, lots of layoffs happening. And I think that the best thing to do is look at look at the glass half full, look for opportunities, sharpen your skills, um, really make sure that you're you're sharpening up on on all your skills, learning things every day, making sure you have a routine set so you say you stay focused and um, really just focus on 
on uh, learning new skills, like the ability to buy your own salary by purchasing a business that you run and manage. And that is it for this episode. I hope you guys like it. If you did, slap a like, remain calm, everybody stay positive the best you can, and I will see you guys on the next episode here on my YouTube channel.